Hey everybody, today we're going to check out Martha is Dead. This is a game that we played a couple months ago during the Steam Next Fest. I really liked it, um, it had some really unique like gameplay mechanics. Uh, the story uh, looks a little messed up, but I think it could be interesting. Um, I didn't expect the <laughs> this song, but... Yeah, I said I was going to play it uh, after we tried the demo. I think we did a live stream for it, so if you guys want to check that one out, I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, it looked really cool, and I thought I'd play it for you guys. Um, it came out a couple of month, or a couple of weeks ago. Um, just getting around to playing it now. But And yeah, let's, uh, let's check it out. And uh, I'm going to put a warning at the beginning of this video and probably in the description. Apparently this game deals with a lot of really heavy stuff, so if you don't want to see that or watch it, uh, I'll do like a, a little warning in the description for you guys. Just for the people that don't want to see that stuff, so uh, yeah. And... Yeah, I guess we'll just start the game. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the game hat contains potentially uncomfortable scenes and covers topics that may distress some players. So, you've been warned. Is that Martha? Ciao. I'm Julia. Julia Kay. I'm glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. I must tell you my story, but I don't know where to begin. There is so much that... I should start from my childhood, but my memories of these times are vague. I only remember the summer of 1929, when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. Okay. Nanny, will you tell me the story of the White Lady? No, little sparrow. Not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things, even if we're not actually bad. Just like soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. She still scares me a little, though. Soon I'll be a young woman, and she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes, I miss Martha a little, but I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes, very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Annie. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, could you tell me her story, even if it's foggy outside? Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. I promise. Oh, all right. 
You always get your own way. It's not really a good bedtime story. I loved Nanny and I loved that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. White lady. Oh. <laughs> According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. She was expecting a lover stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. So much hope and desire that death, not love, was awaiting her. Keep listening. It's cool that you got dialogue options. In despair, or just options. the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. So he was hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. It's a weird uh, story to tell through, like when pictures, rises, like a the White Lady, like a children's book. Leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love, in vain. Within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth, even just for an instant. The lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Good night, Nanny. Good night, my love. I spent almost three years with the Nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories do not return until 15 years later, in 1944, when I stayed in that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals, or whatever else was in that damned place. I can't move. So this is like 1944, so it's almost 100 years old, maybe four, two more years and it'll be 100 years ago. That's crazy to think about. Reel off the film. Or no, 60, 80 years ago. My math is bad. Open the camera. Remove the old roll of film. Put the new film in. Well, yeah, that's this is going to be like a big part of the game where you have to take pictures of things. Close the camera. Load the film. That's what I really liked about it. Kind of reminded me of Infra. Activate the timer. Almost ready. 
Now to bring the image into focus. A lot of quick time events. There we go. There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. I can move it around. Oh, it's a body. That's the white lady. Don't go over there. What? Is that a person? I must help them. I was horrified at the idea that someone might have drowned in my lake. The lake was my world, where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. You don't need that W. swim in a dress. I've never done it before, but I would imagine it's difficult. I'll do it. I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister, my twin, a part of me, dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. I have to stay calm. Jeez. So that's Martha is not dead. That's Martha. It's not possible. It's not true. There's no <laughs> need to worry. Uh she looks pretty dead. Everything is fine. Martha, February 26th, 1923. So we take over her. Is everything okay? Are you hurt? We tell people that we're Martha. What are you doing? Go, Eric, run! My parents ran towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. I didn't want the moment to fade. So I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. I would have to pretend to be Martha. Forever. So pretending to be a deaf person. Deaf. Sign of the cross. O oh Lord who gives life to the dying, let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul. Into your hands I also entrust my spirit, so that I may be reunited with her in perpetual light, to never suffer the desolation of purgatory. Please grant her eternal rest, O oh Lord, and may eternal light shine upon her. Eerie, 
Did you remember to light the candles in the hall? People will be here soon. Mummy always finds something for everyone to do. It's pretty sad though. Hints can be disabled within the game settings. Space to highlight points of interest. What the hell? A moment I thought I saw. No, no, that's not possible. It must be this whole situation making me see things that don't exist. Well, that's that's going to be helpful, actually. Holding space to see your see cl interactable objects. July 17th, 1944. Our family is deeply saddened and is thinking of you during this extremely difficult time. Ernesto E. and family. July 17th, 1944. Our hearts are with you and we share your grief in the wake of the tragic loss of your dearest Julia. Monsignor Attilio D. July 17th, 1944, Ministry of War. Director General for Conscripts and NCOs. We are grieving over your sudden loss and we send you our heartfelt condolences. The Lieutenant Colonel Rapporteur. An old painting. I find it so sad. It communicates a sense of deep solitude to me. Oh, got an achievement. The Emperor completed. There's no reason to use the phone right now. Is that a lighter? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's light these candles. <laughs> the music kind of sounds out of place. When you're done, can you come and get the flowers, please? Or send Martha if you like. Never a moment's peace. Even at a time like this, she can't sit still for a second. Right, that's a little bit better. There is ray tracing in this game, but uh, it uses a lot of system resources. <laughs> Too much, I think. Everything always has to be perfect with her. Do I put the flowers? Parla Londra. Trasmettiamo alcuni messaggi speciali. Felice non è felice. È cessata la pioggia. La mia barba è bionda. Parla Londra. London is calling. Abbiamo trasmesso alcuni messaggi speciali. Oh, here we go. Close the door. Erich, Erich, wake up. Do you think it's appropriate to sleep here, of all places? What? Hmm? Yes. I must have fallen asleep. What are they talking about? You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? Her fault for Martha being deaf and for you being infertile. 
do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irene. Dead. Someone killed her. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. You're Jeez. crazy. I'm the crazy one? Me? They have done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Julia. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. We can't do anything together anymore. Can we? Nothing. I miss you, Julia. I miss you. While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley, we have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramola. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K. was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. So it's going to be like um, interesting to see how it plays to out. Suffer from the situation. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died, and it was better for me too that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Yeah, I wonder how it's gonna play out because we're we're technically oh shit <laughs> uh we're Julia but it's found oh that's wrong so now we can like figure out who killed up Martha based on interactions with other people oh that was wrong Martha has lost her her soul. Martha has lost her soul. Martha has lost her soul. So we're just trying to solve our sister's murder. As the Martha other sister, I think, anyways. Martha has lost her soul. She's Martha has lost her soul. Martha has lost her soul. Sounds. Oh, 
shit. Alright, here we go. Let's peel her face off. Seems like the right thing to do. We did steal her identity, might as well wear her face. Oh my god. It's like a welly mask. Real life version of a welly mask. Now we're on our joy. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> you after the disgusting thing happens but that was pretty gruesome <laughs> I remember seeing that during the demo can't believe that was in the demo I guess they were trying to shock people it was just a dream a horrible dream that horrendous woman and the face of my sister I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... I wonder if we'll get any flashbacks of us interacting Martha with Martha had asked for a picture of me to put Martha. in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? Look at that creepy painting right there. Why, why do you have these on, on your wall? Well, I guess that's Little Red Riding Hood. I don't know what that one is, and I don't know what that one is, either. Scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and bright. Oh, you can see your, <laughs> your feet. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. Well, we need a key for that. Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Hmm. Maybe I'll go try on her clothes. I always keep my trinket box locked. Where did you keep your... your key? She should know that, actually. Oh gosh, if Mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. What was that? Who is that? Me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. Nanny will be visiting me soon. Can I be Martha without her clothes? Mummy never wanted us to swap, so I don't know how she will take it. I could wear Martha's clothes instead, in the other wardrobe. Uh, I think this is an important decision. Maybe I can't even wear her, my clothes, or Julia's. This dress is only for special occasions. We go. It's July eighteenth. I kind of want to find that key or the, the locket. 
I still like to have the books and games from when I was little with me. Whatever this is. Everything I need is always in my bag. Bead open bag. You've opened Julia's bag. You can here you can find objects that Julia always carries with her along with any picked up during game. Objects are listed in the bottom left at yeah. Now try selecting the key in the map in the bag. The key to my trinket box. There you go. It's a trinket box, not a locket box. Is a locket box even a thing? <laughs> I've never had one, so I wouldn't know. Here is my diary. July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for Oh. You cut off. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. There we go. I guess that's what happens. Before she be right drowned. Back. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. Alright, let's see what happens Sorry, when she sees I'm us in her our sister's clothes. Day. What do you think? Or our clothes. What did you say? Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. This is a really crazy situation. I wonder if this ever happened in real life. Somebody doing this. P posing as your twin si sibling. How wonderful the snow is. Unfortunately, it doesn't snow often around here. Shift to run. There we go. What's this room, Julia? It's locked. Strange. Why did they lock my room? Some weird Martha's breakfast pitching is ready. in this game. We can go. Hopefully it's not yes, too annoying. Yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for you. I promise. The sword makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if... I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. 
right, but let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Oh, it's gonna leave me. Mummy is right oh. though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Yeah, that's okay to see objectives. The frame. The newspaper. Martha always reads the newspaper. I have to do the same as her. So no one will get suspicious. Read newspaper dated July or 18 July. I must put on my photos in this empty frame. I always said to Martha I would, but never did. She would have liked it so much. Requirements, camera, things to do. All right. Let's read the newspaper. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Julia Kay. Distressed but supported by faith. Irene E. the mother, Erich the father, and Martha the sister sadly announce Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th at 9.30pm, departing from the property of the deceased. Firm bulwark even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defence shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. First improvements in food registration. Bread rations increased by 50 grams per day as of April 20th. A kilo more every month of soup ingredients. Reforms to the treatment of agricultural workers and an unexpected distribution of jam. It's a lot of jam.